All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Here we are in Nanga Bay currently on the Stasa Rampage 429. And we're gonna do a little bit of a review because I haven't done it yet, to be honest. You've seen I've taken this epic tinny to multiple locations. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about it. So what do we have? We've got a 20, this is a 2022 Stacer Rampage 429. Uh, available at High Tech Marine. There's a huge range of Stacers there, but for this episode, we're gonna talk about the Rampage model because why did I go this model for my adventures? It's quite simple. I wanted a basic layout because I knew the team and I would basically deck this thing out. So um, I wanted to put my rod holders, I wanted to put all the fancy stuff to make it and personalize it. So I got a basic Rampage 429, which the photo is right here for you guys to have a look at. Um, but yeah, what do we got? This is a 4.2 meter long hull and it's 2.01 meters wide beam. So as you can see, three of us have comfortably fished, sat on the bow of this tinny and had no issues whatsoever. That's pretty much probably the strong point that I love about it. I mean, have a look at all this footage. You can see, look at this one, the islands, catching pink snapper, exploring Monkey Maya, exploring the whole of Shark Bay, going off the coast of Perth, off Hillary's, off two rocks to catch some dewfish, break sea cod. The tinny does everything. If you have the weather to get you there, there is literally nothing is impossible. As long as you've got good weather and you know how to read the weather, this boat or tinny can take you up north, down south, in the coast of Perth. It can do everything. So let's go through it. We've got the Lawrence Elite FS7 there, which I'm running a three-in-one transducer. You can clearly see I've got rod holders there. Go to this side of the boat. We've got rod holders on this side as well. We've got a forward storage compartment, which is in here. Now, this is quite large. So, manfish bag's in the way, but don't get, it's a bit messy, and I've literally got everything in there, but it's huge. There's a huge compartment in there, and it goes under, under here as well. So don't, you know, that whole area is cabin space. Now there's the anchor well. We've got self-draining in there. So that basically drains itself out when the anchor's in there. I mean, look at this, I'm standing on the bow. Have a look, it's just, it's, it's massive. Comes with 20 litre fuel tank, which is there. The Mercury uses no fuel whatsoever. Um, I think I can get around 60 kilometers range with that, with 20 liters. Never been tested, but I have done a fair bit of miles in it. Um, we've got the Evo 360 rod holders, which are there. You can see that, rotating rod holders, so then when I'm going trawling, I can put uh, my trawling gear in there. As you can see, there's one in there right now, but I haven't got the angle rod uh, holders in there at the moment. We've also got the Evolution 360 rod holders in there. Now they're straight up, they're not rotating, but as you can see, they are very, very good quality rod holders. So I highly recommend you go for those. Uh, you can get those from Brett at West Coast Boatworks. The seats, I've clearly put uh, custom nice seats there to keep it comfortable for my passengers. Um, <coughs> and yeah, the storage compartment there storage compartment on this side as well. You put all your fishing gear and tackle as I have. I haven't cleaned this up. You can see it's dirty as right now, everything on here, because I want you, I wanted you to see it basically real life. Um, I wanted to show you this real life um, because there's no point, you know, making a boat all clean. I wanted you to see, like I've got the drone on here, I've got my bags everywhere, the mad fish bag there, you've got the mad fish bag, the large one in the background. So I wanted you to see for real um, the space that this tinny has. Um, you've seen epic trips with the boys and I go out, the three of us on here, and it's been amazing. The amount of, um, the one thing about this tinny is, is the deck space um, and the amount of room you have. So that is what I'm pretty, pretty proud, proud about. Um, all right, some tips when we're cruising along, let's go. So the 
the max speed I can get out of this tinny is just me right now, solo, fish bag, esky. Um, I'm doing about 20.5 knots. That's full pelt with a 30 horsepower Mercury four stroke. All right, now these hulls are rated for 50 horsepower. Um, my personal recommendation is to go 40 horsepower and I actually believe High Tech Marine are now selling these boats with 40 horsepower. So minimum 30, I've got it on a 30 here. I should have went a 40 and for those daredevils out there, you can get 50 horsepower. Um, all I'm gonna say is if you put a 50 horsepower on this tinny, put some ballast in these cargo holds because you're gonna be doing these ones. <laughs> Um, I even have ballast. I put 10 kilos of ballast in the front here to counteract the, the weight of me on this side. And it does help um, getting the nose down to get on the plane a bit better also. Um, the other thing is uh, I've got a hydrofoil on the this motor particularly to help with that. It, it can never harm going with a hydro going with a hydrofoil. Um, I personally, my personal recommendation, I've been on boats for a little while now, is go for this hull, go 40 horsepower, put a hydrofoil on there, 10 kilos of ballast in the front, and you've got the most perfect riding hull. Clearly, if you've got two other people on here or one other person, you just balance their weight out accordingly. That, that's the life of owning a tinny. Um, they're not heavy boats, they're very light for that ease of just hooking up, heading up to Shark Bay. I mean, this trip in particular, I've done a quick, um, two-day adventure to Shark Bay, eight hours from Perth. Bang, bang, hooked up, put everything in the tin, and I'm going back tomorrow. Happy days, there's no big boat nuisance or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, I love big boats, um, but it's always good to have a nice tinny as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it for the tin. I'm trying to think what else there is to know about the tinny, I don't know. They're pretty epic, like, pretty solid bloody units, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, make sure you head down to the guys at High Tech Marine. They are most definitely always there to help with any questions. It's a good family run business by Tony and the guys there. Um, heaps of good stuff in the shop, heaps of boats on display. So make sure you get down there, show the guys some love. And if you go there, mention FWL um, and you will most definitely be looked after. But you'll be looked after either way, whether you do or not. So yeah, it's all good. Anyways, that's a quick little review of this tinny. I really hope you like this episode. Um, it's a nice little one just to give you a bit of a brief overview. And we will see you on the water. Eww.